The conquest of America, carried out by Christopher Columbus, Amedico Vespucci, Giovanni Cabotto, and Ferdinand Magellan, resulted in the rise of modern empires. France and England conquered the North American continent, while Spain and Portugal occupied the areas richer in resources and with a favourable climate. The Europeans exploited the natural and human resources in the years that followed. The period of time in American history that spans from the 17th century to the end of the 18th century is known as the colonial period. In 1607, the Virginia Company of London established Jamestown. This was the first English colony in America. The expedition was led by John Smith. His book, A True Relation of Such Occurrences and Incidents as Hath Happened in Virginia, from 1608, was the first book written on the American soil about America. A common feature of the literature of this period, which can also be found in this book, is the practical nature of the texts. The New England colonies can be distinguished from the other colonies due to their religious nature. The Puritans used the Bible as a guidebook. People became obsessed with the moral deviations of others, and this resulted in the widely documented witch trials in the area. The Puritan way of life had an influence on the literature produced in New England. The language and style was often very similar to the Bible. Biblical references and imagery were quite common in works of the time. The first printing press was created in 1639 in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The first work produced was a model of Christian charity. Cotton Mather's The Wonders of the Invisible World is one of the key works of this time. Mather used the text as a defiance of the witch trap. While the American colonies and England used the same language, there were some differences in accents, set phrases, and syntax. Degrees of variation always occur when a language travels through time or from one place to another. The English that settlers brought to America is referred to as archaic English, as it comes from the time of Shakespeare. Certain features of this style remain such as the use of the word fall. In the second half of the 16th century, there was an obsession amongst writers with the discovery of America. Native Americans were often referred to in terms of nightmare or myth and were often depicted as cannibalistic. Some key works of this period include Tom Moore's Utopia, Richard Eden's West India, and Shakespeare's The Tempest. <laughs>